Okay, so I have this great little pom-pom here that I made with the Go For Faux yarn, okay? And I'm gonna be using a 24 peg loom and this is going to work up like super fast. It is gonna take any time to work up a pom-pom. It consists of about 10 rows, all right? And you may need to go and look up main techniques and that kind of thing because I'm having to kind of do this in such a way that it's going to be kind of difficult to see because of the type of yarn it is, okay? So first things first, you want to do a drawstring cast on. So you're going to weave in and out on all all the stitches, okay? Just weave in and out, in and out. Okay. Now you're going to toss the little loop over that is that you just created on weaving the loop. So you're going to toss that over. You're going to place the working yarn over that into peg and toss this loop over. Okay, I'm going to place the, loop, the yarn over that empty peg and then you're going to toss this loop over. Okay, so if you've done a drawstring cast on, just go about it like you normally would. Okay, I won't lie, it's hard to see, but um. The good news is the stitches on the loom, so you should be able to at least feel the stitch. There is a crochet version, and I imagine you'd have to actually see the stitch, but it's probably also by feel. Okay. So, we're almost all the way around. Okay. At this point, you're going to want to knit for five rows, and it's not an e-wrap, it's a flat knit. You're just going to sit here and you knit, flat knit, whatever you're comfortable with, but it's not an e-wrap, okay? And um, you're just going to keep up with whatever that bottom stitch is, alright? So... You're going to go ahead and pause the video and complete your five rows. Alright, and then when we come back, I'll show you the next section. Okay, so when you're making this, you're going to see a section where it says knit to, decrease back, then you knit over your knit, and then you move over. Okay, you're going to see that when it's written out. And I'm going to explain what that looks like, okay? So, knit two, all right? So you're going to knit two, one, two. You're going to take that second stitch, and this is to decrease that way. So you're going to decrease that way. And then you're going to knit over knit. Okay, so you're going to take that bottom loop and toss it over the top loop. Then it says to move. Okay? Then you're going to knit two, okay? Then you're going to start the process again. Knit two. Take the second stitch back to the first peg. Knit over the knit. Take it over one, okay? Let's see if I can get this a little closer. Then it says to knit two. Okay. Alright. And you're going to knit two. One, two. Then you're going to take and decrease back. You're going to toss that bottom loop over the top. You're going to move it over one. Alright. Then knit two. Alright, then you knit two again. One, 
to take and decrease back like the arrow shows, toss the bottom lip over. You did two knits, so you do a knit over knit and then you move it over one. Then you knit two. One, two. Alright. Then you're gonna go knit two, one, two. Take that stitch and decrease it back. Toss the bottom lip over, move it over one. Then knit two. Alright, so knit two. This is classified as one motion, which is why it's in parentheses. Decrease. Knit over a knit. Move it over. Okay. Then knit two. Alright. That is going to be row six. Row seven is you skip, so you skip from behind. Then you knit three. One, two, three. Skip behind that empty peg. Knit three. One, two, three. Skip behind the empty peg. Knit three. One, two, three. Skip behind the empty peg. Knit one, two, three. Skip behind the empty peg. Knit three. One, two, three. Skip behind the empty peg. Knit three. One, two, three. Okay. Now you're going to knit one. This is row eight. And then you're going to knit two. And you're going to decrease back like we did with the first one. Do a knit over that knit and then move over one. And you're going to skip one. And you're going to knit one. Okay. And then you're going to knit two. Then you're going to send that and decrease it back. Toss the knit over the knit. And then move over one. Okay. Then skip and then knit one. Okay. And then you're going to knit two. Decrease back one. Knit the bottom loop over. And move over one. Skip. Knit. Then knit two. One. Two. Take the second loop. Back one. Toss the bottom loop over. And then move it over one. Skip behind the empty peg. Knit one. Then knit two. One. Two. Decrease back. Toss the knit over the knit. And then move over. Skip behind. Knit one. Then knit two. One. Two. Decrease back one. Toss the bottom loop over and move over one. At this point, you're on your last row. And what you're going to do is you're going to skip and then knit. Skip and then knit. Skip and then knit. Skip and then knit. All the way around. Okay. And then we should be ready to cut a tail and draw a string off. Okay. Alright. Maybe 
skipping behind those empty pegs and knitting the stitches you have left. You should have 12 stitches left from this 24 peg length. Okay, then you're going to go in and you're going to cut a little bit of a tail. And then you're going to draw string bind off where you wrap it, toss it, pull it through. Wrap it, toss it, pull it through. Wrap it, toss it, pull it through. Wrap, toss, wrap, toss, pull. All the way around, draw string bind off. So here's the thing, when you go in and you do that, you want to actually reverse it. Okay, I'm going to tell you, you're just going to reverse it. It shows up better. Alright, so I'm going to pull my original drawstring. To a close. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to stuff in my polyfill. stuffing. Okay. All right. And you're going to pull that up. You're going to pull that drawstring cast on up. Then you're going to work on tightening that up. Okay. Now you have your extra yarn. And what I'd suggest doing is taking the needle on that top strand. It's kind of large. Okay. So we're going to take the top strand and we're going to send it through. Okay. And you're going to kind of mold it. You're going to pull that drawstring together. And you're going to do You now have a pom-pom, and that is how you make a pom-pom.